endoplasmic reticulum. What, or what do you normally reference it as? ER, okay? I'm not going to try to trick you and say what's the word. So ER is endoplasmic reticulum. What's the function of the ER? What does it do? Anybody know? Not release, kind of. It does have ribosomes. Which one? The rough. R for rough. R for has ribosomes. Okay, so you want to underline the R. <clears throat> has ribosomes, right? So ER, what is the ER for? What do you do in the ER? <coughs> R, they transport chemicals throughout the cell or well throughout the ER to the cell let's say and there's two types we already got the rough what's the other one soft or smooth s good and the rough is mainly focusing on proteins anybody know what the smooth mainly focuses on lipids and here's the release of the parts so if you look at the rough ER it has these little dots on it they're, they're connected, the rough and the smooth, and the smooth has none of the dots. What do ribosomes look like? Dots, yeah. What do they make? Yes, protein, good. Where are they? Everywhere in the cell means where? Floating around what? In the cytoplasm, good. And where else? Good, rough ER. Anybody ever heard what they call Golgi stacks of, what do they look like? They kind of look like ER, right? But they got these little like pouches at the end. What do we call little pouches? No, I heard it. Sacks. So stacks of sacks is what they reference it as. Stacks because they're like stacked up and sacks. What do you think they do? If, if something is a sack, what does it do? Stores, Stores packages, good. And if, if ever you see these words, apparatus, complex body, if you see Golgi apparatus, Golgi complex, Golgi body, they all mean the same thing. It's the Golgi. All right, mitochondria. Powerhouse of the cell. What kind of power? Makes what? When you think of power, what do you think of? Electricity. What, what's electricity? Energy. It makes energy for the cell. Not for you, for the cell. Okay, your energy source is what? What kind? Carbs and, and lipids, right? Cells, energy. Cells actually use those carbs to make energy. That's another chapter. It looks kind of like, it does kind of look like a football sometimes. I've actually had people use little teeny weeny footballs to represent the mitochondria in their, in their cells because they sell those at Michael's too. It has two membranes and it actually makes its own DNA. What does that tell you about mitochondria? If it has its own DNA... What can it do? It can what? Re it can reproduce. So make a little note of that. Put an arrow here and put it can reproduce, which means what? How many mitochondria can there be in your cell? I mean, it's not going to be 20, but there could be more than one because it can make copies of itself. All right, so the lysosome is unique because it's only found in animal cells, which is what we're doing anyway. We're working on an animal cell for uh, your models because it represents pretty much the majority of the organelles, except two, which we're going to cover anyway. It's like a circle, and it's filled with these little dots, and the dots are actually destructive enzymes. So when you do your lysosome, make sure not to just make a circle, make a circle with dots because there's other organelles that are circular and you want to make sure yours is represented well. Anybody know what a lysosome does? 
It does, in a sense. No. All of those things are kind of right. Because what it does is it gets rid of any kind of invader. Or it's a purifier. And it gets rid of organelles when they're malfunctioning. So when your cell starts to malfunction, the lysosome is the first line of defense. It should get rid of that organelle and kind of somewhat destroy the cell. Any type of invader coming into the cell, the lysosome is supposed to attack as well. Cytoplasm, what's it like? Jelly-like fluid, good. And what does it do? What do you think a jelly will do all over the cell? Holds everything together, good.